in this video, we are gonna be covering some of the upcoming gaming projects you do not wanna miss, whether it's gonna be NFTs or token drops. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, first thing I gotta do is cover the markets. As you know, things are kinda stagnant, dipping a little bit, right? We're on the fear and greed index, we're at that 72. So obviously people are kinda greedy right now because everybody is anticipating a bull run for 2024. Now, will that happen? That's possible. Will we see dips along the way? Of course, but remember whatever strategy that you do have, have, especially if you're just buying tokens and just waiting for them to go up and selling them as they go up you know you want to stick to the plan and not lose your money especially when things dip a little bit now let's go ahead and dive into what's going on in the nft and the gaming crypto space first project we're going to talk about is going to be overworld now they had a very successful mint where they were minting for i believe 0.15 eth and the floor is going to be multiple times that it's going to be 2.21 so you know everybody who got the mint multiplied their money and they're able to sell it so what's going on here well overworld is basically marketing their entire project around a token right so this is very meme land-esque if you notice how meme land used the nft as marketing and then they sold the token it doesn't really matter what the end product is as long as people believe in the token right so for overworld if you go on their website there's no gameplay there's no clear idea of what this game is going to be according to the website i'm sure in the amas they share more details but when it comes to things on their website they literally don't have anything right however even with that said the price is going to be 2.2 because people believe in this token right mnct why do people believe in this so much well the first thing is that they partner with horizon lab ventures which is a token advisory firm behind apecoin pixelmon is also using them and they have worked with a number of projects so people speculate that because of this advisory and because of who the investors are in overworld they're going to be able to get it on different exchanges whether it's a binance bybits you know you name it and for a token to be successful you need liquidity and you need to be on these exchanges so people don't really care so much of the aesthetics of the thing right i wouldn't necessarily say this is like the best game art i've ever seen however people do speculate that the coin is going to pump and that's the game that most people are playing right here right and so because of that all these other gaming projects who may be good or may not be good are all going for a token even if they know they can't really sustain the price of the token or maybe it's a not really a long-term play you're going to see a lot of tokens coming out over the next year because people are here trying to make money right and there's nothing wrong with wanting to make money you just have to know what game you are playing so the next project we're going to be talking about is going to be a matrix now this one a lot of people have been talking about it's basically going to be a first person mobile shooter okay so basically you're going to play a first person shooter on your phone which is not the easiest to do you can see on OpenSea they already launched a collection these are going to be a 3.15 ETH now why is it so high well it's because number one if you go on the website of the game the graphics and everything do look better than average when it comes to a crypto game right so if you look at the gameplay itself it kind of looks like valorant but a mobile version crypto version as well and that's enough of a narrative to get people to want to buy and i don't even have to go into the details of what the game is beyond that right and it's clear they're going to make multiple games right so if my understanding is they are going to launch a token having the nft will grant you access to whether airdrop or ability to buy a token i think those are just like rumors and what people are talking about obviously they have all these investors and partners pretty stacked and because they have multiple games people think of it like oh it's an infrastructure play right the first game is going to be this first person shooter the next one's going to be this and there's going to be all these games to provide more liquidity and more demand for the token right that's basically the narrative that people are gunning for so definitely want to check that out if you're into first person shooters and ecosystem kind of plays uh next story we got to talk about it's going to be maple story they just announced a 100 million dollar investment talk about a giant investment right so maple story is one of the most popular games in the past I used to play this all the time when I was a teenager and they are going into crypto. $100 million is a pretty big investment. So most likely for them to make these numbers work, they are going to drop a token, right? If you raise $100 million and you're going into Web3, what game actually makes $100 million? There's not really much, right? Generating revenue. So it has to be from a token sale. And so this might be one of the biggest token sales, especially because it's MapleStory. They have all the connections they need to get in South Korea. They are a legacy brand. Everybody knows who they are. So it's very, 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 very strong narrative. Narrative, so definitely want to keep that on your radar another new project that i stumbled across today is going to be nifty island so what it is is kind of like the sandbox a little bit where you buy this land and you can build different games on your land and they're going to be implementing different web3 communities and ip into this ecosystem so 
the trailer that recently came out, you can see like there's like a Mizuki over there, there's some bored apes, there's some wizards, Cyber Kong. So a lot of different IPs coming into this. And of course, for the IPs, you know, they want marketing, they want to use their IP for something so they can use it as a narrative. And if the island gets free marketing, because all these communities are, are going to start playing their game. So it seems like there's going to be a play to airdrop campaign. So I'm guessing that you got to play the game, get some engagement, and then you're going to be airdrop some kind of points or tokens, which maybe can be redeemed for real money. It's going to be complete quest for on chain rewards. So I guess play the game, get engagement, get some rewards. And it's really interesting because for a brand like Nifty Islands, if they are getting any kind of grants or maybe they're raising VC funds, the condition usually to do that is you have to get users, right? Active users on your platform. So maybe it's like they're going to start with this, get all the communities in, get engagement by paying these people to play the game, then go to the grant people and be like, hey, IMX, we, you know, we got like a thousand users, give us a million dollars for a grant. That's what I would do if I were them. This is a pretty interesting project and most likely they're going to come out with a token, right? Because how else are they going to make money? So beta coming out. So make sure to follow this if you are interested in what's going on over there. And so with that said, that's everything we got to cover for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give a like, subscribe, turn on notifications and make sure to follow me on Twitter at Patrick Dang, where I'm going to be tweeting what's going on in the gaming space and NFT space. And I'll catch you in the next one.